The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is the body mandated by the laws of the United States to oversee the development, testing, and launching of rockets, among other things. The FAA is renowned for its habit of not taking anything to chance. They have to, because the industry of rocket development has also been marked by instances of terrible accidents that not only destroyed the equipment, but also cost the lives of several astronauts. One such bloody example can be traced back to that late morning of January 18, 1986. A space shuttle Challenger exploded into a ball of fire 73 seconds after taking off, claiming the lives of all seven astronauts on board. The sad story of that space flight, designated as STS-51-L, which was to be the 10th flight for the vehicle and 25th flight of the space shuttle fleet, left cruel scars in the hearts of many, and the FAA was no exception. Elon Musk has not had an easy time with the FAA as far as licensing matters are concerned. The Starship, the SpaceX vehicle, is expected to do an assignment bigger and riskier than that which was expected of the shuttle Challenger. Under the Artemis program, the Starship was chosen as the vehicle to be used to land man back on the lunar surface. This will be the first time since the successful Apollo missions of 1969. And so, with this in mind, the FAA has been very strict with SpaceX. Strict enough not to dish out licenses carelessly even for a simple unmanned orbital flight test. Despite this, Elon Musk has been working so hard to demonstrate the fitness of his rockets. There have been several successes that have attended his efforts recently. It began on May 5, 2021 when a Starship prototype, SN-15, underwent a successful trial. The SN-15 rocket was launched from the SpaceX Starbase facility in the South Texas village of Boca Chica to a height of 10 kilometers. After a few maneuvers, it descended softly and landed six minutes later on the launch pad. But the story has not always been successful. Actually, in a series of Starship prototype launches amounting to about nine, it is only the SN-15 that ended well. All the rest end in messily, with either the rocket exploding on the launch pad, in mid-air, or shortly after landing. Nevertheless, SpaceX engineers have been learning from these failures and have been improving each success of rockets. Another notable milestone for Starship was achieved on January 23rd of this year. The fully stacked Starship rocket with its Booster 7 first stage and Starship upper stage, designated Ship 24, underwent a full wet dress rehearsal. During the test, the space vehicle was filled with liquid oxygen and methane propellants up to the brim. The test simulates a countdown in a typical launch procedure. However, it did not include firing. Well, the firing happened a few weeks later from that same facility on the 9th of February 2023. Known as the Full Static Fire Test, all 33 Raptor engines of the Booster 7 were fired simultaneously. The test, which lasted for 15 seconds, also brought some good results. However, not all of the Raptor engines fired. One engine failed to turn on, and the other turned off shortly after firing. In a tweet, however, Elon Musk reassured his followers that that wasn't a big deal. He said, still enough engines to reach orbit. The SpaceX president, Gwyn Shotwell, confirmed this in a statement during the FAA's Commercial Space Transportation Conference in Orlando, Florida. She said, it really is the final ground test that we can do before we light them up and go. Earlier on, Elon Musk had also declared that they had had a real shot at late February, and that a March launch attempt appeared highly likely, but nothing is forthcoming except another Dateline announcement by the billionaire. Through his best means of communication, he tweeted, SpaceX will be ready to launch Starship in a few weeks, then launch timing depends on FAA license approval. Assuming that takes a few weeks, the first launch attempt will be near the end of the third week of April. In other words, what Musk is saying is that they are no longer in control of the dates for the launching of the Starship. Having checked their last box and conducting the full static fire test, the ball is now rested in the courts of the US Federation of Aviation Administration. And even the FAA hasn't been inactive. There has been some notable progress to bring quickly the desired event. Things could have been even smoother were it not for some occasional misbehavior on the side of SpaceX. Yeah, they have once found themselves on the wrong side of the FAA rules. In August 2022, they failed to serve the agency on time with a launch collision analysis trajectory data before launching their Falcon 9 rockets. And as a result, they were slapped with a $175,000 fine just the other day. 
While that amount is surely not a big deal to a billionaire of the status of Elon Musk or to a multi-billion dollar company such as SpaceX. But there's one problem. The misbehavior lowers trust in the mind of the FAA officials. Are they not the ones who will be deciding the fate of the pending Starship orbital launch? Nonetheless, on June 13th, 2022, SpaceX was given an environmental clearance by the body. The green light, however, was very conditioned. If they adhered to a list of 75 environmental mitigation measures known as Mitigated Findings of No Significant Impact, FONSI, they are good to go. To launch? Oh no. The clearance was not a license. There was more to be done. But the FONSI measures are not undoable. They are non-technical, non-engineering, therefore trivial according to SpaceX. Most of them can be ticked at the same time. Furthermore, SpaceX will not be required to adhere to all of the measures before launch. In a statement to Space News on January 12th, the FAA said, The time frame for SpaceX to implement the more than 75 FAA-required environmental mitigations for its Starship Super Heavy program varies. It added, For example, some measures must be completed prior to launch, while others are designed to occur during post-launch activities or following a mishap event. And so, just as Gwen puts it, they are good to go. Suppose it happens, and SpaceX gets its license to launch Starship to orbit. The space vehicle's trajectory will be a very simple one. Launching from their Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, the Starship will soar for about 170 seconds before the Booster 7 separates from the spacecraft and, in a controlled landing, touch down approximately 20 miles off the shore in the Gulf of Mexico. But do you think that the April date will bring up the event, or just another postponement? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. To this end, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Till next time, cheers!